Hey everybody, what's going on? Shabby Doo here, and today we're finally getting into Lens Island. The game just came out for release today, the 26th, and if you saw this before on the channel when we went through the demo, it showed you some quick tips and tricks and everything, it is an amazing game, even for what was available at the time. So I, this is one I've been waiting for desperately to come because it's going to be a great uh, Shabby Doo. Shabby World. Shabby World. Create a new game. Uh, it's just going to be one of those really good games. It's a nice uh, adventure, storyteller, uh, one player type of game. Um, developer recommended Mouse. So, and I remember playing it that way before. I'm surprised they put in WASD. So, um, where is Len from? We're going to be from um, Acacia Plan Plains. That's a bit too dark for me. I like the tan look. I'm pretty tan sometimes. Masculine. Uh, does Len wear shoes? No, definitely not. So let's do the hair. What do we got for the hair? So that one. We'll go with that. Maybe go for a white hair like we're an old guy kind of stuck out here. Got my backpack on. Ooh, uh, oh, nice, nice V-neck, maybe. Oh, I was hoping they'd get purple, but I'll go with the red. Red's a good color, too. Shorts. Boom. Her game. Let's go. Yeah. I can't wait to do this and really get into the nuts and bolts of what this game has to offer now. So I'm just trying to remember the keys here again because, you know, I'm, all, I'm still used to... Uh, WASD type games. You know, let's try it because when we did the demo, it was only available for. Um, let's do WASD. So it was only available at the time for mouse and keyboard. Oh, he already gave me some stuff. Uh, time each attack to trigger a critical hit. Uh, you can deal more damage timing your hits. Time your next swing when you see the crit circle expanding and click during the crit window to trigger a critical hit. Okay. Aha, uh -huh, look at that. Reminds me of Dreamscape. And we were just playing together for a bit. Alright, let's go here. Oh, achievement gathering wood. So this is gonna be like a how to start kind of first episode here because I'm Ooh, ooh these were in here before. Okay, oh, back up. Maybe this is why I got a sword now. Alright, kill the dude, got a thing. Uh, these creatures were not on this island last time. There we go. Got it. Got it. Is this clay? Um, can I do it with the pick? Get some clay. Everything in the overworld kind of responds to, so. I remember needing clay pretty decently. It was one of the more, I don't want to say sought after, but it was definitely one of the least, with the limestone, one of the least available resources. I'm so excited to see what changes because one big thing about this game was supposed to be like the crafting and expanding through weapon systems to like keep upgrading and building new and new things. And in the demo, all that was available was like you just kind of traded things to buy them. And right, so this is actually not the island I was looking for. He changed it. You snake. All right, I'm going to grab this clay and then we're, I'm going to go see if we can find that island again. There was a nice little... uh things you could do in the start of the game to kind of get ahead or not really get ahead but like little secrets that he put in little secret zones all right i found a little dock here it's kind of just south of where we were oh wait is this the dock in the game to, to where um this is where like i started off in the oh it's an abandoned fishing shack okay looks kind of like the trading spot from the merchant in the, in the demo What's the perfect residence for an experienced fisher? Haven't lived for many ages. I want some love and care. The shack could be home to a fishing friend one day. Okay, it doesn't like tell me how to, you know, make it better. So we'll just kind of continue on here. Uh, what I've just been doing, just gathering some basic materials, like just getting these like reeds here. I think this is like fiber. Also been grabbing these blueberries when I see them because food's pretty good in this game. Uh, we need it to I think it's one of the only ways to really heal us. Or at least it was in the demo. 
So grabbing all that. Same with the flowers. Just because that's new. So I don't know what that's about. I want the food for when we go into the cave systems. Alright, back to exploring and trying to find... Oh, what's this orange thing? What are you? The flower. Okay. So we got a bridge here. And just got a nice little sign saying bridge closed. So we got to find out a little bit more about that. I don't think anything happens now. Can't click on it or anything. So got to figure out how to rebuild the bridge, I guess. I'm just kind of doing a big circle around the outskirts right now. This The map has definitely changed. I don't know if it's kind of uh, if it's randomly generated now or if this is the same, but it's at least different from how the demo was. So I'm just kind of exploring, seeing what's out here and figuring out a good place to... Uh, or where the cave is where we're going to be doing a lot of our underground adventures and as well as where the merchant ship will be if that's even still there so more to come so actually just north of where we were i'm going to call up north for now at least until we have a map of some sort i found a cave and i'm trying to see if this is the cave yes this is so i don't know if they've done more or what's different really so but this is the ancient cave, so this is the starting point. So, cool chest. Oh, cool. So, yeah. So, you can only have... Yeah, so managing your hot bar and backpack. Drag unlocked items to your hot bar to equip them or drag them off the bar to unequip them. Any unequipped hot bar items are automatically sent to your chests for storage. And all your resources are accessible from your backpack anytime and do not require storage. Equip food items by dragging them directly to your backpack your hot bar so you can only be exploring with a couple things at a time we'll come back here in a bit i want to finish the upper world first and get a good idea of what what's up there what's new here before we go into the let's say the underworld so i found this so it looks like a closed off cave this kind of reminds me of the area of the map um from the demo yeah, because then this is where the pirate's cave was, right? Yeah, I remember that part. And then this was our first little jump quest here, Pirate Island. I, one of my favorite things that the developer did in this was some doing some nice platforming. Really good. I wonder how it feels with WASD because, you know, he made this game with, um, you know, it being a mouse game. So, eh, pretty simple. But I'm curious to see how it feels with WASAD since that was a, I guess, a secondary measure. I feel like when I listen to him talk about a couple things, he never talked about even um, thinking of doing WASD. So I'm curious as to, not really curious as to why. I mean, it makes sense. You gotta, you know, placate to all of your audience and not just a select few. So we're going to come up here, go around, jump, climb up here, jump to here, and then I'm going to do this. Boom. Look at that. Clean jumps. Come over here, grab these goodies. <laughs> and open the door. So let's see. Let's come up here with this flag. Anything good? Nope. That's probably, that's just my way back over there, I assume. Go through the door, come on out, and that's that. That was one of the little uh, side areas. So nice little st starter plot there. I'm gonna grab this. I'm gonna grab this stone before we go because uh, here's our stuff. I'm actually almost full on stone, which is pretty nice. So I found this bridge over here, and this one I can't repair from this side. But to here to here is 80 wood and 20 fibers. So let's fix it first. I'm going to show you how to jump over here because I you don't even have to use this bridge. Repair that. What's over here? This looks like the first house I made in this game. <laughs> it's so close to the first house I made. I wonder if I can, like, deconstruct this. I don't know. We haven't found out about the build mode in the game yet. Interesting. Why did they have us build over here? What's the point to showing us this house? Let me look at the controls here. Uh, edit mode is F. 
right? So if I just... What is this? So I can refund all this stuff, but I'm full on most everything, so I have no re reason to. So I wonder if that's like a quick refill for some cheap materials, because wooden fibers are super easy. But let me show you. So you're going to come. I'm going to go back to shore here, so I do this from the scratch with you guys. I think you can already see the path here. When you come up to this bridge, it seems to be on like the northernmost tip of this island. Instead of paying the 80 wood and 20 reeds for that, you can just jump to this one, jump here, do a long jump with a roll, and then you're here, and then you can just take the bridge over. It's that simple. Nothing special about it. Like, you can even do it back, too. Ooh, there's fall damage in this game. Never realized that. All right, I'm going to continue exploring the island. This island, by the way, is much bigger than it was in the demo, which is nice, but I don't know what the the need is to have it so big. Like, it did just fine in the beginning, so we'll, we'll see what's all going on here. We'll see. So I've got another bridge here, Bridgewater Town. If I got 80 stone and 40 limestone, I could... Uh, build that up and see where that goes. So why don't we do that and find out what's on the other side of this bridge? Ooh, so I found an old note just uh, down the path from that bridge here. I found this little cabin. We followed the orders. The bridges have been destroyed and the second cave entrance demolished. We'll be heading back early in the morning. We did find that second cave entrance. So that means that's probably the one we found earlier is the only entrance into the cave now. And they've intentionally destroyed the bridges. Clean up this trash here. Whoops, what am I doing? Put the axe out. There we go. Grab some wooden stuff from this. I don't know what the point would be to fix this, but let's just do it anyways, right? So let's do, um... I don't know how to build. Rotate, left click, wood. Look, I'm just in edit mode. You know what? Maybe I think I need to build the items themselves. Be able to put them down. I don't think you can actually just like build, build like I'm trying to do here. We'll see. Can I destroy this? No. Okay. Hey. I could light it with five coal. Interesting. I'm going to have to walk down all these paths too, but I did get enough stone. So let's build this bridge here and see what this is about. I did try and cheese it and walk down the whole thing, but it, the, uh, yeah, there's a cutscene. The game didn't let me go forward. There was an invisible wall. Bridgewater, there's a town here? Forgotten Island. What's, what's up, guy? Good evening. Oh, uh, you Mayor Gerald. How can I help you? Just, what is this place? Bridgewater, Gerald. My name is Gerald. I'm the mayor of this corner of the world. If you're settling on the island, beware the darkness that lurks beneath. Many travelers have come to the island in search of its powers, but few ever returned. The town is built from travelers such as yourself. Seeking new beginnings in the island is a paradise for those who dare to live on it. Just be careful, my friend. Okay. Very well. Nothing here. Can I... Okay. Guess I can rob these people. Does that mean I can take your pumpkins? A cute little house. The housing system in this game is really cute, too. There's nothing in it, though. Mm, water tower. That's cool. I wonder if this game... So, this is Pirate's Town and then Bridgewater Town. If I come over here... Okay, so it's... I was wondering if it was gonna, like, cut, cut scenes on me, you know? Can't destroy that. I was trying to see if I could, like, clear that area there. Target practice, a sewer. Oh, we got some stuff here. Get this glass. This is a, definitely a new way of getting glass from what I remember. I don't remember having to find uh, broken bottles on the beach to recycle into glass like this, so that's nice. Something over there, too. See anything in the hut? Is that a bed? Looks like a bed. Okay. Alright, what's up? Pirate? Pirate bar. 
Arr, good night, friend. Need something? Let's play some blackjack. I don't think I have money. I have five shillings. <laughs> I'm just browsing your goods. So, oh, so like this thing here, the saber. Uh, for 80 shillings, I can get a new saber. 50% light attack, 100% heavy, 50 rushing? Or 50 stab slash and then crush? I'm not sure. What about this? Damage is average, speed high, low critical hits. Crit resource bonus is 30%. Speed for resources. And then you have nothing else for sale here. It's probably because it's nighttime too. That could, that could certainly be the case. What's in here? I wish I had a torch. Um, I don't know. Is there a button for crafting? Left mouse button, right mouse, abilities, block, hop bars, edit mode, inventory. Okay. Okay. Doesn't seem to be. Oh, picked up a bottle somewhere. What else is on this island? I like this little pirate area, though. This is cute. I kind of wish there was just a bed that I could sleep in or something so I could pass the night and see if something happens during the day, but... Kevin the Fisherman. Hello, need a hand? Just browsing your goods. <coughs> What's this? So I can buy for seven. Oh, so I can sell. I can buy glass or sell glass to him. What's this? So he's got a mace for me. Big old spiky boy. I love it. Um, I'm, one, I'm trying to remember which ones I liked last time. I don't remember what weapons I liked anymore. Oops. Ahoy, sailor. That's all he's got for me. Can I break you? Oh. Hello? Hey, a bed. I can't do anything with the beds. Really dark out here, though. Oh, this is the, the merchant ship that I remember from before. Hey, buddy. Just browsing. What does he got? I can sell and buy gems from him here. Oh, he's got an ice lance. Look at this. Two abilities. High damage, average speed, high crit. This is pretty nice for 800 shillings. You're forking me. 750. Oh, off. And a shield. Okay. Nothing else. Yeah, last time you had like wood and stone and all that stuff too in the demo. So, all right, it's becoming. De oh. Shoot. oh, man, overboard, overboard. Help. Man, th this town is thriving. None of this was here in the demo. For those of you that played it, or for those of you that watched my original demo video, none of this was here. This is all brand new that I'm coming up on. So, like, this guy, he'll sell me some grapes. Bread. Wheat. Bananas. What's that? Passion fruit. Blueberries. He'll buy blueberries, so I can get some money from that. Melons and pumpkin. Okay. I assume I can't steal your stuff. Unfortunate, but understandable. In here. Then this place is huge too, and he's done so much work. Door's locked. Up. Oh. Night, Gwen Guinevere. Oh well. So this is the blacksmith. What's up, bud? Just browsing. So he's got iron shards, salvage, get coal from him. Oh, he's got a purple boy here. Refined mace, high damage, high crits, low speed. So I'm missing light stone and 10 dark essence, which is actually not that hard to get. I could make that for myself pretty early on in the game. We get pretty OP nice and early. A solar leveler style on them. So you got limestone, so I could sell limestone or buy it. Play. And stone. I assume you do nothing when you talk to me. Okay. Housing looks pretty cool. It's giving me some good housing ideas, though. That's Guinevere. 
Doesn't seem like much else going on here. Bill's dungeon. Okay. We will get into that later. It's over here. Oh, so it's ransacked. Interesting. So this one, it's not making it out to so much be like an island though. Can't get up there. Get broken stuff and a note here. Yeah, we can get there. Now right, let's go find out how to get up there. So I found a little hut here and a cave. Can't do anything with this. Someone lives here? Oh, land for sale. But I could buy this. How come? Is there an invisible wall there? Try that again. There we go. There is an invisible wall here. <laughs> okay, so let's build our first house here. And I figured, you know what? Let's save some resources. And I'm just going to start here. I'm going to make our first little makeshift cabin here. So let's go to the crafting. Um, I'm just going to build a wall. Oop. So now we've got like a little shack here, right? So let's head over to the crafting. I'm going to put down a workbench, 12 scrap, 10 reeds, 50 wood. Um, what's my rotate? Nope. Sorry. I'm trying to figure out what the rotate button is. Oh, just R. Simple. Okay. So now with this, we can make. I can learn how to make gates. Okay, so now this so this uses like a blueprint system. So this is all new, by the way, from when I last played. I can get dormer roofs, so I can use salvage metal for all that kind of stuff. I got to learn how to make a refinery and then a fireplace to keep the cozy warm while filling the room with well, a freshly baked bread. Okay. Uh, ornate lamp. I can make signs. I think I already know how to make a garden bed. Oh, so this is how I learned how to make tools. Um, I don't remember which ones I like the best. So I'm going to have to work through that. Um, I'm going to craft a torch. Definitely want that torch. I'm going to want that for the caves. I don't care about a watering can just yet. Oh, and here are the collection. So when you collect and when you collect everything in the set, you get some sort of set bonus, which is super cool and interesting. It's totally new. Um, I've never seen anything like that in a game. This is my tool chest here, so like I can equip this stuff with my limited hotbar. All right, so if I come in here now, right? So I see, like I've got wooden frame farm. This is garden. Okay, so it's probably just a bigger version of that, or smaller. Fifteen thirty. I don't know. Hard to tell from this screen. But what I want to learn, how much salvage scrap do I have? That costs 10, right? Salvage scrap. I've got 76. Okay, so let's get the refinery. Going to learn that. We are going to learn... What's this? An iron axe? I could craft it. I'm okay right now on the tools. Let's do... Um, harvest crops with one big swing. Sword. I want to try... Do I want like a spear? Or... That has some sort of ability. What is this one? Not the battle axe, though. Sword does. Spear has three abilities? Or... I don't have enough iron shards to do the hammer. So let's try out the spear. Craft the spear. Get some better damage here. 
So 40, I don't know what those percentages are, like 100% stab damage, flash, and then crushing. I'm assuming that's what that all means. So I'm going to throw this on here. And I'm going to put on the torch, keep the pickaxe, because we're going to go in the caves here in just a moment. Um, other than that, let's throw down the refinery then. If I come over here to this, the refinery, can I fit you in here? No, this is a bit too small. But let's go into this mode here. Actually, could I just put it on the ground outside? It is a refinery after all. No. It needs to be on some sort of platform. So, let's build platform. Put a foundation. Right here. And I'm just going to place it right on top. Keeping it cheap for now. There we go. So fuel, water, coal, input this. Okay, so the refinery. So literally refinery. So I could, you know, let's throw wood in. And then if I input, say, limestone, some clay. But it looks like I needed the coal. Wow, look at that. So now what this will do is this will give us some iron chunks, some glass, and potentially jewels as well, which we can use to sell. Okay. This is getting interesting here. Oops. I want to see. So th this is the iron collection. That'll get whatever that is. That means I should make everything here to fill that selection up. So it, actually, if I get a little bit more wood, I can get an iron axe here. Why don't we upgrade that? Actually, no, no. Let's not even bother. I think we got some... We got glass and jewels out of it. All right. Let's head into the cave now that we've got a light spear with an attack. Look at that. little sweeping motion there. Yeah. This torch will go a long way in the cave. So we definitely want to build that. So now with our torch equipped, nice new weapon... Let's actually go see what's in this cave and see how it differs from before. Yeah, it's just right down the hill over here. So, just so you guys know where it is from your spot, I don't think this is procedurally generated. I definitely don't think it is, actually, so. And now, we go in the cave. Beautiful stuff. So remember, you can um, fix all your goodies up in here. I don't have many berries, which is un... Why would I even waste my stuff to repair that? I could just jump over that. All right, so we cruise down here. So I did... I came in here a bit just to get some basic materials like iron and stuff. The image isn't much better, but it's just a different type of attack too. Same with this thing here. Okay. That's nothing. Nothing, nothing. I like how I can go in edit mode in here, though. All right, let's see what's over here. Ooh, cute waterfall. Nice. We've got stairs there. This is stone. I don't really care about stone. I can really get that anywhere, so. Razor. Okay, that's its attack pattern. I don't have a shield, so I can't defend. Got some metal scrap. Up here. Okay. Is this anything? Nope, that's nothing. All right, we're getting a lot of this dark essence here, which is nice. Another waterfall, how lovely. That's just stone. This is nothing. That's, this is iron chunks here. So I want to make sure we get this. As we can tell, iron's very important so far. I could have made an iron pickaxe at the house. I definitely would have. 
Alright, we got that there. I like how it automatically brings out my torch when I switch to my melee weapon. My one-handed melee weapon, you know? Bring this in. Come on. There you go. How much coal do I have? Six. Yeah, no, not a lot. I was going to say, I wanted to light one of these just to see... Like, if it stays lit after the first lighting or if it slowly diminishes. But I'm going to still wait a bit for that. Um, but it definitely looks like I need to build that. I'm not going to try jumping off because I don't remember what happens if, if you die in this game. But we know there's a bridge in here. So I got to come back in with some wood. This is a coal node right here. So let's hit this. We definitely want some coal. Again, we can try testing out some of these lamps in here plus other things and... It's good once you have the extra materials because it'll tell you where you've been in the caves, too. There's no map. As far as I'm aware, there's no map in this game whatsoever. So, it's all about that memorization. Kind of reminds me of Dark Souls that way, though. I enjoy it, and I don't at the same time. It's a very mixed feeling. Give me that coal. Thank you. Come down here. Another monster spawner. I don't know. I want to see if these start coming back too. I don't know. If they do, nice. If they don't, that's okay as well. Maybe I'll leave one somewhere. I'm missing all of these. the dodge on that one but I got the first one get me my coal we're getting some good coal and dark essences we gotta bring our stuff to the town too and see I remember one of those weapons that we thought looked good just required what we already have plus some light essence yeah it was one light essence and like I think 20 of these yeah I've got plenty of those now Just see how far we can get. I've only got seven blueberries. I didn't do a lot of um, farming of them. I've been using them because obviously our hunger was diminishing. So, all right, definitely gonna start dodging those attacks. Nothing over here. I think we were already over there. Another cute waterfall. The water's really nice in this game. Like you gotta admit, that looks really good. Over here. Brazier. Have I been up here? I don't think so. Oh. Okay. Didn't see any of those there. Definitely missed every single one of those, pretty much. Nothing, nothing. Ooh. Oh, God. Nope, we're not doing this. Oh, too far. What does that mean? I think I was like clicked onto something and it thought I was trying to um, click on it. Like, I don't know. This maybe? It was, yeah, like that. And it just said too far so I couldn't attack. <laughs> Okay, I don't have a ranged weapon. Cheese the crap out of you. Alright, satiate that hunger a bit. See what else we got down here. I gotta find something. Some new, something new down here, right? To be like, hey, get... How we get steel or something. I don't know. This is a bad zone. Bad zone. All right, so two big monster spawners down there. Yep, nope, 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 nope. We're not playing this game. How far will you chase me? To 
Did they stop? I don't know, but I want to go over here, so. They did not stop. <laughs> Cheeky cheese methods. Got him. Get rid of this one. So I can kind of keep him out of range with that, too, so that's nice. dark essences. Oh. All right, let's get the heck out of this cave here. We got to we got to boost bolster ourselves up a bit more here before we keep going. We're a little weak with just our iron spear. We're taking out all those enemies. Well, let's head back to the cabin, see what else we can do and then check out the town one more time and see what kind of updates we can get. I didn't find any of that light shard stuff though, so we got to Let's see where that brings us next time, I guess. Maybe we're just a little unlucky in our adventure, or we just gotta get a little deeper. Before we go deeper, we need food. But yeah, guys, if you're loving Lens Island, make sure you hit that like button down below. It really tells me a lot, especially when you leave comments. Let me know what you're thinking as well. So if you're new here, as usual, thanks for stopping by, and make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as you get back. Give me that sweet, jabby content. All right, I'm gonna meet you guys back at the house. So I wanted to complete one of these sets here with you guys so we could see what it does in the first episode here. So the last thing I got to make is this iron swords. We'll craft that. Iron swords unlocked. Go to the set here. So set bonus is the woodsman wood wrecker. Very high damage, very low speed, high crit, high knockback. Holy crap. I need 200 iron bits to make that. That is... A lot. I mean, the biggest one that we had to make was, um, I think it was this one right here. I can't look at him here again. But, um, the Warhammer was 20. So this is 10 times the amount. But we can see it does 70% damage to, uh, pierce, slash, crush, and wood cutting environment. So it could be very good. So that'll be definitely be on the to do list. Then we got, you know, the Steel Series, the Knight, the Pirate, Fisherman Series. Nature, refined, forged. Not sure what this is. Maybe that's these things. No, that doesn't look like that. That's different. Then we got torches <clears throat> and watering cans, but those don't have a set bonus and then exotic. So I don't know what the specialness of that'll be. So, but, oh, I can upgrade this. Oh, I can't even, I can't even hold a 200 wood. So I got to figure out how to get more storage in my backpack here that'll be that's one thing to look into and yeah there's nothing else really here for me to do at the moment you know what we need to do um we are gonna go here to the crafting menu right and we are gonna build a wood frame and i'm gonna attach it now hold on the question is could i put a platform here I cannot. It does not let me put a platform here. Okay, so I'm going to attach the wood box here. Oop. And let's see what I can put in here. So I can put in blueberries. Perfect. So I'm going to plant all these blueberries here and see what this will get us as well. Because food's very important in this game and you only get so much of it, right? So like, you know, I go into my box here. I can't see my food in these chests. That's okay, though. Uh, can I drag it from here? Yep. So if I did that, for instance, you know, there's my food. Roses. I've got four. I've got 16 blueberries. I planted nine. We'll see if I get... I assume because I'm using one to plant it, I'm going to get at least two back from each harvest, which is not too bad. That's uh, 
you know, as we say in the business, it's not too shabby. But, all right, I'm going to take a look around the town again one more time to check out the recipes and make a new... Um, a new goal for myself for what kind of weapon or maybe something I want to unlock while we're out there and then give us a goal for in the mines. So when we come back, I, Jesus, it is dark. Let's get a torch here. So when we come back, we have a set, we have a set task at hand that we are going to do. Okay. And yeah, the hammer is two handed. So that way we know what we're going in the mines for. We're going to get it accomplished as well as exploring deeper and deeper into those mines. But all right, guys, like I said, if you love Lens Island, do leave me a comment down below. I'm going to say this is probably one of the better starts you can have, especially with completing the Iron Set series. Uh, all I did was refine a, a bit of the stone that we got in the dungeon because every 10 stone gives you three iron. So keep that in mind while you're down there. That's why you want to leave full, at least for that, if you're not going to use it for building. So yeah, this is how you're going to start Lens Island. This will give you the perfect start, get you everywhere you need to go in the overworld, get you a little bit settled into the underworld, and trying to figure out which weapons you want to use. But all right, guys, like I said, comment below if, you, if I missed anything that would be better for someone to start with. Good comment for everyone down below. If you get if you get the best one, I'll pin it. And if you're new here, do hit that subscribe button as well as you get back for that sweet shabby content. But all right, as usual, this has been Shabby Do, and hope the rest of your day is not too shabby.